Well, hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. And I do have a name for my channel now. I'm calling it Less Fat, More Fun. And I think that's a very appropriate name for it because being overweight limits the things you can do that are fun. I mean, if you heard me in my video yesterday, I noticed one of the things I noticed was how heavy I was breathing and all I was doing was moving around in the kitchen. Um, and that's not all that fun, but being overweight limits the things you can do. About a month ago, I was we were going to go on a very little mini trip, and I was thinking we could go zip lining, you know. And I looked up their weight restrictions. I couldn't go because I was too heavy. And uh, before that, I had looked up horseback riding for something we were going to do, and I can't couldn't horseback ride because I was too heavy. So being overweight limits the fun you can have in life, and so that's I that's why I named my channel less fat, more fun. Um, I hope you think it's appropriate. You can write me a comment below. Tell me what you think of the channel name. Uh, I'm curious to hear. I spent some time thinking about it. Didn't know what I wanted to call it. So I'm curious to hear what you think about the name of the channel. Other than that, I woke up in a pretty good mood and I'm pretty positive. It's day one, you know. It's pretty easy to be positive on day one. Um, I had two kind of not so positive moments. The first thing was I weighed myself um, and it was hard to make myself get back on the scale after so long. But, uh, and I will go ahead and share with you that I weighed 237 pounds. Point zero, nothing over it, just exactly 237 pounds. Um, and then the other hard thing was I, I want to take a picture once a month on the first day of each month so I can kind of watch myself over time so I put on a bathing suit to do that in, and that was incredibly hard. I just, you know, if if you're overweight, and like me, you probably avoid mirrors, and you probably avoid looking at, taking pictures of yourself, or looking at pictures of yourself. And I definitely do avoid mirrors. I don't want to know what I look like. So putting on that bathing suit and taking a picture, that, that was hard. Um, I don't know that I'll share those on this channel. Um, I'm not ready yet. I'm just not comfortable with it. Uh, but you know, maybe over, maybe in time I will. Uh, that'd be another great thing if you could leave me a comment. How do you feel about seeing pictures of yourself, or do you also avoid uh, mirrors like I do? So I haven't eaten a lot today, but um, like I just haven't been very hungry. I had a, my coffee with heavy whipping cream in it, so that's probably about a carb right there. And I had some sausage, which is zero carbs. Um, but like I said, I wasn't that hungry. And, and that's because, and I told you, I'm going to be real and raw. You know, um, last night before we, <laughs> before I started this, we had homemade chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, a biscuit. I had a big glass of milk because I absolutely love milk and I know I, I will miss that. And then I had some Girl Scout cookies and I had a big piece of key lime pie. So obviously I haven't been too hungry yet today. If you don't know this though about Atkins or low carb or whatever you want to call it, um, there's no reason to be hungry on this diet. There are so many zero carb foods that you can eat if, and it's really important not to be hungry. So I will eat when I get hungry. Then the other thing I've done today is I got stuff prepared because after this you're going to see me make a pot of my low carb homemade gumbo, which is really just stuff that I kind of decided to put together. But so I got those items prepared to make the recipe. I you know, did a little bit of chopping. It's a super easy recipe. I hope you stick around and watch it. So if you do stick around and watch that part, leave me a comment on that. Let me know what you think about that. If you would add anything to the recipe or take anything out. So I think that's all I have for today. You know, I don't expect to make these uh, vlogs real long every day. Just want to get on here at least once a day and tell you how I'm feeling, how I'm doing. Like I said, I'm positive today, but that's easy because it's day one. Ask me again on day 10. We'll see how that is. I guess that's it. I'm going to go to the video of me making the soup and I'm just going to say thanks for watching. I'm going to make a pot of what originally was low, par low carb gumbo and I don't even know where I found the recipe, but it doesn't matter because I've changed it so much over time. This is the way I make it, and I'm just going to show you what I'm going to do and what goes in it. It's super easy, and here we go. I start with a can of diced tomatoes, and this whole can has 28 grams of carbs. That's a lot. Tomatoes are high in carbs. 
but the whole thing makes a lot of servings and I'll explain all that at the end. So I do a can of diced tomatoes, then two cups of chicken broth, and I just use bouillon, or I guess it's more bouillon, but anyway, I use two cups of, I just use a, cute, a bouillon cube and dissolve it in hot water. I use a package of riced cauliflower. Um, this container has six grams of carbs for the whole thing. I use some frozen pepper and onion blend, and I'm gonna put I'm gonna put in. I'll have about eight grams of carbs for what I'm putting in. It's still frozen, but that doesn't matter. And then this is a Polish sausage, Polska Kielbaska. I used about half of what comes in the package. This package had two grams of carbs per serving. Um, I got it delivered. If I'd been to the grocery store, I would have picked one with zero grams, but I did. I just took what they gave me. And then I do put in chicken. Um, I do the chicken lots of different ways, whichever's handier. Sometimes I just bake chicken breast. Sometimes I boil chicken breast. Sometimes I buy a prepackaged shredded chicken breast. This time what I could get at the store was a whole rotisserie chicken. So I just uh, have already shredded it off of the bones. And I'll probably put about half of that package in there and use the other half for something else. I like to make a chicken salad. And this will work out great for that. And then I just fill the pot with water. And about the only seasoning I use is salt and pepper. And I use Tony Satchery's Creole seasoning. I don't have a measurement for you because this is not a cooking show. I just put it in, put enough in that I like the way it tastes. So I'll put that in there and I may put more in later. And stir that up and let it cook. I usually let it cook for probably a good 45 minutes. At Once it starts to boil, it's going to get a kind of a pink froth on the top of it. And I don't know what that is. It's from the tomatoes. I know that. And it looks really weird. But there's nothing wrong with it. And the froth will go away after it's cooked for a while. But that is my low-carb gumbo. But it's not really gumbo. I think I did forget to say that the way I figured it, and believe me, this is incredibly unscientific, um, but the way I figured it, it has probably between six and eight carbs per serving, and I make a pretty good size serving. This is the bowl that I consider a serving. I think it's about, about it holds about eight ounces. So there, now I've told you that.